గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు అండ్ ఆల్ లెట్ స్టార్ట్ సవర్ పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ లెట్ సి ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ మెంట్ బై పైథాన్ అండ్ వాట్ ఇట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూస్ ఆఫ్ ద పైథాన్ పైథాన్ ఈజ్ ఎ పాపులర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాస్ క్రియేటెడ్ బై జూడో వ్యాన్ రోసమ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిలీజ్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ వన్ బట్ ఇట్ వాస్ డెవలప్డ్ ఇన్ ద నైన్టీన్ ఎయిటీ నైన్ ఓకే కమింగ్ టు ద యూజెస్ ఆఫ్ పైథాన్ పైథాన్ కెన్ బీ యూజ్డ్ అన్ ఏ సర్వర్ టు క్రియేట్ వెబ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ ఫర్ దిస్ యూజ్ యూసేజ్ ఆఫ్ పైథాన్ ఈజ్ పైథాన్ కెన్ బీ యూజ్డ్ టు హ్యాండిల్ బిగ్ డేటా అండ్ పెర్ఫామ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఓకే కమింగ్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ పైథాన్ కెన్ బీ యూజ్డ్ టు హ్యాండిల్ సిస్టమ్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్డ్ టు హ్యాండిల్ సిస్టమ్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ ఓకే why we choose python python works on different platforms like windows mac linux raspberry pi etc python has a simple syntax similar to the english language uh, next one python has syntax that allows developers to write programs with fewer lines than some other programming languages many open source frameworks and tools python is a high level programming language come to the key points about this python is python programming language can be executed in two modes this one first one is interactive mode second one is normal or scripting mode coming to the first one interactive mode in this mode lines of code is differently written not uh, lines of code is directly written and executed in the python interpreter shell which provides the results coming to the normal or script mode in this mode the source code is saved to a file with .py extension and the file is executed by the python interpreter we already know about uh, the extension of the different uh, technologies is for example we have to use the c programming the extension for this is .c we are using the cpp the extension for this is .cpp like that only we have to use the extension for python is .py okay the features of python programming la- language the features first one it ha- first one is simple python is a simple and uh, minimalistic language it is simple and minimalistic language the second one is easy to learn python has a very simple syntax it means it is very easy to learn and the code next one free and open source most linux operating systems have python by default okay next one high level language when we write programs in python okay next one is python is interpreted a python program need to be compiled like a programs in c and java languages okay python programs can be directly executed from their source code using a python interpreter clear next point python support object oriented programming okay next one we can send an email by using python module called smartlib okay smtp lib okay next one a python program written on windows operating system will also execute on linux operating system and it is a portable it is a portable next one single line comment starts with hash okay here we have to use the hash as a comment line okay python is a case sensitive programming language means age and capital a g e and small a g e are two different identifiers in python why because it is a case sensitive it can differentiate the capital letters and small letters also okay what are the development tools we have to use in python basic tools for developers are beware beware is more than just a tool in fact it is a toolbox to help develop and debug software in python okay the big difference between beware and an ide integrated development environment is each tool in that box can be used independently from each other this is the difference between the beware and integrated development environment next one constructor the another development tool in python is constructor the user interface consists of a set of separated tools 
is to create and debug applications developed with python next one python tools for visual studio okay first we have to open the visual studio and start new project from the process for this is we have to go for the file click on the file and we have to open the new project okay then we will see the get python tools for visual studio this is the representation of the microsoft visual studio here we have to go for the uh, file after that we have to click on the particular tab okay next one you have to see the example of the calendar using with the python okay this python calendar example accepts year and months as input variables yes or no we have to take in the respective year and we have to take in the respective year and month as input variables the example is like this the specific code for the calendar exam for program is input calendar year equal to int input please enter the year name year number colon open closer brace month equal to int open brace input within the double quotes we have to enter the please enter the month number colon close brace just we have to print the calendar dot month year comma month just you have to close the brace here we have to execute the particular calendar program just you it is asked for the enter the year number just we have to enter this particular example is 2016 enter the month number also it will ask just you have to enter the second so simply it displays the second month of the calendar that is february the year is 2016 simply it displays okay this is the example for this calendar program okay next one python variables python variables must begin with small a to small z comma capital a to capital z or underscore okay next one python variables are case sen sensitive okay next one python variables can be reasonable length okay next one keywords are not used keywords are not used next one variable name is stated with only letter and underscore okay this is the example at the rate of a equal to 20 it is a invalid syntax why because it, it does not follow the specific rule next one coming to the operators in python first one is assignment operator in this assignment operator we have to associating a value with the variable using the assignment operator is called as binding it is called as binding here we have to use the equal symbol is is used to assign values to variables okay next one the operand to the left of the equal operator is the name of the variable and the operand to the right one of the operator is the value stored in the variable clear here the example is we have to specify the variable name with the values hp equal to 764 calorie equal to 4.2 department is equal to i think it is triple e yes uh, we have to specify the department print hp comma calorie comma department the result is simply it displays the 764 comma 4.2 comma triple e yes oh, hp here is an integer assignment is a calorie is a floating but why because it is floating it have the dots okay values must contain the digits dot okay next one triple e is a string simply we have to understood okay next one multiple assignment python allows us to assign a sim single value to several variables simultaneously the corresponding example for this is number 1 equal to number 2 number 3 and that is whole equal to 100 okay we can also assign multiple objects to multiple variables this is called as multiple assignment the reason behind this is why it is called as multiple assignment means 
we can also assign multiple objects to multiple variables that's why it is called as multiple assignment so the representation for this is value is value 1 comma value 2 comma value 3 equal to triple nine twenty four point seven eight nine comma python yes just we have to uh, specified represent the python within the double quotes okay next we have to simply represent as print value 1 print value 2 print value 3 the output for this is, is simply we have to what we mentioned in the program that you will gives the output that is triple line 24.789 python simply it will be displayed here we have to see the installation of python why we install the python what is the procedure to install the python in our desktop or laptop in our systems okay just the first step is download and install python visit the official website we have to visit the official website here it is when we visit the official website we have to choose the one pop-up screen is appeared on that pop-up screen we have to choose the option that is download python the version number it is 3.6.3 .3. just we have to choose that one clear next step two after choosing that the next next step is once we have to click on the download button the download is complete run the exe from the install python now click on the install now just to we go for the screen it is will appear install now just you have to click on the install now button next one we can see the python installing at this point it, it will appear in green colored okay next one setup was successful step four when it is finishes we can see a screen that says that setup was successful now we have to click on the close button which is appeared on our screen okay next coming to the what are the different data types we have to use in the python those data types are like this only those are number string list tuple set dictionary these are the data types we have to use in the python we have to see first one number data type number data types are store the number values we have three different categories of numbers in python we have three different types of categories of the numbers in python they are int float long complex okay they are int float long complex clear coming to the first one int is as a signed integers long long integers they can also be represented in octal and hexadecimal they are represented in the two forms we already know about the uh, those forms those are octal and hexadecimal octal means 8 hexadecimal means 16 clear next one float floating point real values floating point real values next one complex complex numbers okay a complex is created by adding a real and an imaginary number that is shown in the below example that is x equal to complex 3 comma 5 we have to print the x output is 3 plus 8j y means it is a complex next value can be combined with the al alphabet okay next one number data type x equal to 12 x equal to 12 y equal to 12.33 z equal to 1234 433345 print y that is the float print x that is the int data type next one print z that is the long yes using the operator delete a variable del using operator we have to delete a variable that is del of x delete x a variable also delete multiple variables delete a comma b comma c with the help of the this option we have to delete the multiple variables at a time by using the delete of x comma sorry a comma b comma c clear here the arithmetic operators we have to see in the current slide that is addition subtraction multiplication and division 
coming to the addition that is the two values we have to see uh, taken okay we have to apply the addition operator just we have to specify the variable name x that is equal to 8 plus 2 that is next one they have to print the x variable so print x the value of x equal to 8 plus 2 that is the value of x is 10 print 10 okay it prints the 10 subtraction same one just we have to take in the two values which is which is to be specified with the another variable for example we have to take the x value is equal to we have to specified x equal to x x minus 2 so simply we have to print the x the value of x is 2 minus 2 simply the value is 0 so it prints the particular resultant value clear next one multiplication same we have to take in the two values we have to assign the values with one variable so here the values are 8 and 2 just we have to assign these two values with the variable x equal to 8 multiplied with 2 okay 8 star 2 it is represents it represents the multiplication of the two values 8 into 2 that is the value is 16 just we have to print the x print x then only the result value is 16 while we have to take in the floating 8.0 with the 2.0 the resultant value is 16.0 okay all are family familiar about these conditions next one division Simply we have to divide 7 by 2, 3, 7 by 2.0, 3.5, 7 by 2, it is 3 also 3, integer results with the truncation, integer results with the truncation, clear. Next, exponential, we already know about what is meant by exponential, power value, here the values are 2 and 3, 2 cube means 8, the resultant value is 8, so we have to take in the we have to take in the floating point value that is 2 power 3.0 the result value is 8.0 clear next modulus modulo 8 percentage 2 the modulo for the, the corresponding value for this is 1 okay next one python's built in numeric functions absolutely it is built in the numeric functions apps comma float comma hexa comma oct comma long comma max minimum power and round okay abs float hex oct long max minimum power and round these are the built in numeric functions which is in the python okay next one range for example it is the range between the 6 and 18 comma 3 means these numbers within the 6 and 18 which is divisible by 3 just we have to understand properly it represents the numbers between 6 and 18, the range is 16, 18, between the range 16, 18, which is divisible, each and every number is divisible by 3. Those numbers we have to display. The current answer is 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, next one, range 10. Just you have to return the 0 to 9, that is the range 10. Next. Maximum of 12 comma 18, returns 18 and round of 12 comma 7, 12.7, 13.0, round means uh, round figure. Hex means hexadecimal, octal means octal number. ABNs means that is the minus 70 to be returns by plus 17. Okay. This is the concepts we have to see in the Python. Next one, Python type conversion or type casting. In typecasting, Python defines type conversion function to directly convert one data type to another. Here are the examples. We have to convert the one data type to another data type. It is called as typecasting. Okay, examples. Print of int 13, 34.55. Output is 34. Why? Because we have to convert the floating point number into the integer value. That's why we have to, we cannot mention the after point number. 13.55, we have to ignore the 
point triple five. We have to ignore the point after point variable. Okay, after point trip point triple five. We have to 